All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is High Ruler, and today's video is going to be talking about Suicide Squad and just kind of some general thoughts as we kind of get closer to launch and as the community kind of like goes through this weird phase right now. There's no real structure to this video. It's just going to be airing some thoughts out, and you guys are free to disagree or to agree, and we'll just kind of go from there because what I've seen right now is a lot of hostility in the community, right? It brings me back to the Avengers days where you're either a shill or you're a hater and you're going back and forth and people are fighting against each other. It really does feel like time travel was invented and I'm like the guinea pig that has been kind of used because like, I'm not going to lie, everything that I've seen over the past 72 hours has made me think that like, yeah, like this is Marvel's Avengers 2.0, right? And not necessarily the game, because I actually think the game as it stands, what we've seen, what the reception has been to a lot of the features, how people played the alpha. I think this game is actually way better than Avengers. Now, with that being said, the community is not any better, right? The community has now kind of proven that it doesn't seemingly matter what kind of superhero game that you kind of offer up. The reception is always going to be the same, which is super unfortunate because I always view these stories as one offs. Right. So, for example, let's talk about Kevin Conroy. Right. I don't think this game ruins the legacy of his Arkham games. Right. I think if you're someone who views those Arkham games as the perfect trilogy. Right. Or I think there's four if you count one of them. If you view those as the perfect kind of trilogy or quadruply, whatever the word is, I think you can still hold that opinion and still appreciate Suicide Squad for whatever it wants to be. You can look at Suicide Squad and you could be told that this is part of the Arkhamverse, but does it really matter, right? Like if you look at this game, you're like, I don't think this is part of the Arkhamverse or it doesn't matter to me because the Arkhamverse ended with night and that's what it is. I mean, you're free to hold that opinion, right? What seemingly is happening, though, is that everyone's dad was just murdered in this game and everyone's freaking out, right? Like, that's kind of what the vibe I'm getting at is. A lot of people have looked at this Batman, and I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, please tell me. Everyone has looked at this Batman as, like, their father figure, right? Or, like, a family member or someone they care deeply about. And they've looked at this death, which we now seemingly know that this leak needs some context to it, right? It seems like some things are missing based on the leak of the story, but that people are looking at this and they just feel like a very deep, deep hurt. And in some regards, I get that, right? I get when you see a, you know, a character that you played over a course of many years, seemingly in your eyes is disrespected. I think Comic Story and had an interesting view of the way that these games can be viewed. And that basically is like, if you don't want this to be a part of your headcanon for the Arkhamverse, don't let it, right? You could totally just play this game as an Elseworlds kind of vibe to it, you know? Like, this is not your Arkhamverse. This could be Arkhamverse 2, for example, right? Like, you guys know what I'm saying. And you can treat it like that, right? But at the end of the day, I think one of the things that we have to kind of just consider is that like there's a story to be told here right and stories are subjective and you can either like them or dislike them but I think what is happening is that we've lost all ability to have these conversations of like hey I think this story could be good for these reasons and someone could be like that's cool but I think this story is not going to be good for these reasons and just agree to disagree or just kind of say hey I respect it move on that's kind of what it is right. I feel like, and I'm going to generalize a little bit here, but I feel like in the comic community and people who like superheroes and superhero adjacent media, right? Whether that's the MCU or the DCU or now, you know, kind of comic book video games, right? We've seen this recently with Spider-Man that people just kind of go to the extremes. I've seen some crazy stuff people have said um, about Rocksteady and it just kind of makes me wonder like, really like is that really how you want to kind of enjoy these pieces of media right because at the end of the day as i said just because this is part of the arkhamverse what the developers say you could totally just treat this as an elseworlds and just you know be like yeah it was an elseworlds story whatever it is what it is you know you move on and that's what it is and i you know it, it's tough because like we're never gonna get another arkham game with this batman right and I know it's not the ending that people want, but I think you just kind of should enjoy the journey that, you know, this Batman's going to be on, right? Like, just enjoy that this is Kevin Conroy's, one of his last appearances as this Batman, and just kind of take in and just kind of enjoy his performance, right? 
maybe he still dies at the end of the game, right? Maybe somewhere Harley still shoots him. But you're still going to have a boss fight against him. You're still going to be able to hear his voice. You're still going to be able to enjoy this Batman in its own different way. And I think at that point, you're still honoring Kevin Conroy by at least acknowledging that he probably kills this performance. He probably just absolutely destroys it. And I think that is the best way to go about it, right? You can disagree with the story, but I think Kevin Conroy is probably still going to end up being probably one of the best parts of this game, if not the best part. And I think that's one of the small takeaways you get from a game like this, right? So it's tough because like as much as I am excited for the game, I'm nervous to say I'm excited for the game. Because if you say you're excited for the game, people are just going to hate on you, man. And it's it's really tough. And, you know, if you guys feel similar, just know that it's OK to enjoy a video game. It's OK to not enjoy a video game. It's OK to be excited. It's OK to not be excited. But I think the way we converse with ourselves about these things makes all the difference here. Right. And that's really all I have for you guys, man. It does feel like I'm back in the Avengers days. You know, I'm expecting certain content creators to start putting me in their intros again. But I think I've fallen too far from grace for that one. But it's really interesting you know everything is just kind of coming up together i can't wait to you know we're gonna have leaks again you know leaks are gonna carry the content right like it just it's a really interesting time and i think you know for many of us who were part of the avengers days um you know it, it's really one of those things where one thing i'm gonna tell people is that you don't really get many of these games often right and i think now more than ever with the way live service games are going you only have so many shots at a game where you can kind of enjoy these with your friends, right? We obviously have seen certain leaks that would imply um, another development studio was working on a multiplayer game or pitched a multiplayer game, and that never took off, right? So not to say you should just enjoy everything that's handed to you, but if you enjoy superhero multiplayer games and you have friends to play with, or maybe you don't have friends to play with, but you want to play this online, these experiences don't come around too often right so not to say you should blindly accept everything that they give you but just know that when this one ends and it's going to end whether that's a year from release or 16 months 18 months 24 who knows when the next one's going to be and that's really all it is right when avengers was kind of you know the wheels were turning but they weren't really moving a lot of people were wondering like what's that next game that we're going to play that is going to give us similar experiences and luckily yeah we have suicide squad after suicide squad though are we really going to have another experience to look forward to the answer is probably not so i'm just going to take it for what it is guys this is a story of uh villains you're playing the villains and the villains win and at that point i'm just going to enjoy it with my friends make some cool builds and hopefully just do a lot of crazy mayhem and that's really what it comes down to right so if you guys enjoyed this, you want more Suicide Squad content, convince me that I should make it. Because right now, I need some convincing, man. I really do. Otherwise, I'm going to talk about other video games and none of you guys are going to care anyways. So if you guys want to watch more content from me about Suicide Squad, make sure you like the video. You leave a nice little comment. Maybe sub to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time here. As always, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.